Hey everybody, I'm here with Mr. Jimmy Reader from Wellhead Support Systems. And he's got the coolest thing in the oil field, I think. And it sure makes me sleep better and feel better at work. And I'm gonna let him explain it to you. Mr. Jimmy, where, where are you from, Mr. Jimmy? Uh, well, I'm around Elk City, Oklahoma. Uh, all our equipment is from down there, Lafayette. Lafayette? Lafayette, Louisiana. Yes, okay. sir. Well, Scott Backstrom from Casey Backstrom. They're, uh, they're, they're the heart and soul of Wellhead Support System now. They, I'm telling you, they got, they got their got their act together for sure well i first seen this about two years ago over at the other cavern and uh i believe it's the it's the beam that's over there mm -hmm. on on the neighbors cross street but uh you were telling me yesterday this is a refurb but it looks like it's brand new everything scott and casey has is this it could be 10 15 years old it's gonna look brand new because right. they they go through everything every piece pretty much and if it's they don't like the way it looks they're gonna make sure it looks just fine and, and operates as well as it looks. Well, if you could do me a favor, and a lot of a lot of my viewers on YouTube, old old mechanical guys, and they understand this stuff. But this is the coolest thing. It's it's I hate to say it's simple, but it's as simple as jacking up your car. <laughs> and uh, I'll I'll let Mr. Jimmy explain it to y'all. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the jacks first, I guess. Right? Yeah. yeah. We'll just start there with the heart and soul of it, All yes, right. sir. Y'all hang on. We'll be right back. Mr. Jimmy, if you would just tell us. Tell us kind of what this thing does. Okay, we, we set one of our jacks on either side of the wellhead. And like I said, our uh, capacity is, is possible to do up to a million pounds with the jacks. But our beams and the weakest link is on there is, is 800,000. So we, and we also have, that's that on a 5,000 pound system. Our uh, power packs are down to around 3,500. So our, our maximum that we can actually do to on a safe side is around 750 to 800,000 pounds. And then we that way we don't over exceed anything that's not safe. So right. we, anyway, we'll set uh, one jack on each side of the wellhead. We've got additional spacers that we place on top of the, to get our height that was, is, that was needed. Set four clamps and everything's been engineered to everybody said clamp. <laughs> oh, like, well, yeah, all, all it, these clamps have been uh, certified, engineered, and, and uh, it is a C clamp. Yeah, it's just a little different than one I use on my brake calipers. And we always use our safety straps on there, just you know, in case things. But thing, it's man-made. It vibrates. You know, yeah. things can turn loose, but we check it. You know, every day, but best we can, and make sure that things like that don't happen. But the what if does happen? Exactly. Exactly. Tell me so, about. Tell me about. This is this is what I found yesterday to found to be a cool feature is this lock nut. Yes. Now, like like I said, those, these are these have a three to one safety factor in them. So if for some reason we lose hydraulics completely, the safeties will hold what we have in place. It won't slip down. It won't slip down. She's, it's going and it's like I said, everything's been certified and, and tested to make sure that we have that three to one safety factor. In you them. know, we've seen we've seen videos where the cars that fell off the jacks at the auto loop place because yep. the hydraulics fell. So yes. this keeps that from happening. Yes, sir. Cool deal. All right, let's walk around here and look at the look at the wellhead itself. Uh, tell me, tell me the piece. Is that your piece that's flanged up to that top of that? Yes, top that, of that, valve? that that we have the we have a ten foot spool right there on top. That's what we hold grabbing a hold of. So that's what the beams are sitting under. So we have we get our cross beam set, put our base plate down, and we have a a standard bowl and slip. Okay. So we get the bowl and slips around the spool, set it, and we and what we do is we calculate our weight of what we're picking up right above our cylinders, and generally it's on average of around forty thousand pounds. Wow that we start out with. And we always go 20,000 over to start with to get that uplift. So you put a little band on it. We put we put 20,000 on the uplift on the on the the well itself. And 20,000 still wouldn't lift this well head yet up off the ground right. or anything. So you put a preload of 20,000 So we put a, a, a preload of 20,000 okay. extra on top of it. And the, the way it's engineered is the anything that's stacked on top of that uplift will be directed down to us. Cool. Thus keeping the weight off the wellhead. So in in time every, every morning we'll still crank it up and preload that that sixty thousand that we got our weight plus the twenty thousand. And we're always looking for settlement and things to make sure that that nothing's uh 
compromised. Yeah. Basically. And this is all hydraulic driven. Everything's and hydraulic driven. You got yes, a power sir. pack over here. We I'm got assuming. a power pack, yes, sir. And uh, uh, your preload gauge, I guess your gauges you watch. Right. We've, we've got two sets of gauge. We've got an actual pressure gauge, and it's real easy to, it's 200 to 1. So you, we, we set our pressure at 300 pounds. That's all we're using at a 3,500 capacity. Right. 300 pounds is all we need. Cranked up 300, hold the levers back, let the hydraulics take care of it. And, that, and I usually hold it back quite a bit to make sure that there's any sediment that, that's in the, in, the, in the ground. If you've got loose gravel or loose terrain, right. that'll take care of it. Or inclement weather like we're inclement supposed to have. If we have inclement more. weather, it'll make stay the night. Right. You know, just right. to make sure. I hear you, man. <laughs> All right, well, let's go over and let's go over and look at the power pack. All right, can do. So this is the power pack. No, this is the. That's what, our that's our control panel. That's the control panel for the jacks itself. For the jacks, yes sir. Okay, and this is oh this is the power pack. That's our power here. pack. Yes sir. And it's a just a. It's almost like a. Uh, a lot of times you can we can I think he, when he first started out I think he may have refurbed to you know the um, power packs that the tongs. Right. Tongs used, right. you know whatever, but. It, but set it for our capabilities of what we need. So anyway. So let's, I'm assuming it's a little old diesel motor. Yes, sir. And, yeah. Uh, like tong to tongs is what can unscrew and screw the pipe together. They use those to uh, to do that kind of work instead of a pipe wrench <laughs> or chain tongs or something. Yeah. It makes it makes life easier. But we like to keep, try to keep everything as nice and clean as, as possible to make, make sure yeah. no yeah, trash gets uh, in there. So That's what impressed me about this. And I walked around here the other day, I said, man, this is, this is clean, very clean. That's two, two inch hydraulic hoses? Yes. And but, what, what's the pressure on those? Now, that, the hoses, I believe, can go up, up to 10,000, but we only have a 5,000 pound capability gotcha. at all. But 3,500 is, is what our, so we, we've got a, safety factor in there as well like in everything we use. Roger that. Cool, man. So these hoses, this is the discharge, I'm assuming. Yeah, we got it in, in and out on both of them. Yeah. They go to, and they split over they here and go over here. They go behind the control panel. And then the control panel, we have a left and right side. Right, okay. Yeah, that makes, now, that makes sense. Pretty much, if you pay attention when the trucks are offloaded, you can actually color coordinate your your blue blue handle, blue jack, red handle, red jack. Aha, uh -huh. gotcha. But anyway, <laughs> I didn't quite get there, but we uh, we unho we hooked them to make sure it right is right, left That's is left, right. so so we're we're good. And this is the. And then this is when we when it, we fire that up. This is our pressure gauge that we go off of. And like I said, each jack has a capability of up to at five thousand pounds of pressure. Can do five hundred thousand pounds. Gotcha. But since we knew that our equipment weighed 40,000 and we want that first initial uplift of 20,000, we had 30 and we times that times two. That's so it'll get give us 60, right? 60,000 pounds. All right. We're, uh, where are we at? What, well, I guess I guess my question to you is what kind of weight is on this beam right now as we're standing here talking? Well, I believe everything else up there, if I heard them say correctly, was Close to 150, 160, maybe. 150, 60,000 pounds. Yeah. So 150,000 pounds is sitting on that beam. And that's just. But that's not on my wellhead. I, correct. I it only is, got. It is not. I have. What do I have on my wellhead? You have on your wellhead probably what you what that stack is right there, and that's it. So, maybe maybe 2,000 pounds, maybe a, maybe four. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe more than what you what we think. Just whatever the whatever the yeah the, the valves those, those and the valves and adapter everything stuff weigh. weigh. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a relief for me because used to no beam and everything was talking the everything was tied to the tree, the wellhead, and it supported it along with the guy wires. And this beam is a game changer for this kind of work. Especially uh, on shallow wells, even you know, storage facilities yeah. for sure. It, it's highly recommended we <laughs> give us a call. Well it's it's uh, nice because this thing goes up, I think them boys told me it's about 100 and, right at 100 foot, 120 foot, probably I with their jib on top. Right. I think that sounds right, yes sir. And uh, tomorrow it gets it gets to get used quite a bit. They're gonna run some pipe in the hole and set a couple of plugs over the next couple of days. It's not it's not fast, but it's, uh, it's efficient. 
and Mr. Jimmy is going to help us keep it safe. Yes, sir. Yeah, I guess you check this periodically during the... Oh, yeah, every, every morning we check it up, and then I, I always say the, the heat of the day is your friend, especially right. when, because the heat expansion itself will, will give you a little bit of uplift as well. We'll maintain at least that 60, and since we've stacked so much more weight on there, I'll show you a little bit if what I'd normally check. Okay. If I know that the it's you know 80 or 100 or better, if it's and, and especially in the train that we have, these safeties will get. I just tighten them up. Oh, they'll get a little they'll, slack. They'll get. Them. Now I, I bumped it up, and I know I'm good because in the morning when I preload it again to our 60 to 60, I know I've got hydraulic fluid going to the to the system. But you generally they won't they won't move. But as the day moves on and the heat goes on, we got that expansion since I've got pressure already to it. Right. I know I'm doing good because the the safeties are are loose. So therefore they're they're, they're still giving that uplift. So I may have 70, Perfect. 75 on on the system about right now. But I tell you what, this is this whole the whole snubbing unit experience is is impressive. And if you've never experienced it, you know working in an oil field, it's something to see. I will uh, let you go, Mr. Jimmy. I appreciate your time so much. And I'm going to talk to the guys tomorrow that take care of, uh, I, I call it well control. If there's an issue with the cavern or issue with the pipe coming out of the hole, they can actually do a lot of things right there where that red stack is to keep it from getting bad. Yes, sir. And uh, we hope we don't need it, but it's there in case we do. Mr. Jimmy, I appreciate your time All right, so you're much. Welcome. Thank this you. Is, uh, this is very. It's educational to me. As old as I am, I still learn stuff. I still learn day. stuff every day. Yeah. You know, every every job's different. Well, I appreciate you, sir, and thank you so much. All right, anytime. Thank you. Thank y'all. Bye bye.